Hello, everybody out there. We are ready to go. We are about to begin our homeschool class slash uh, class virtual arts. Let me go ahead and uh, um, here we go. Okay, uh, once again, we're giving it a try. Um, we are starting our homeschool um, class school, okay? And I know it's going to be a tough one. I know that uh, I've been doing a little bit of research on how to start a homeschool. And this is for the purpose of um, of you students that uh, that 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 really want to try another avenue. Maybe you're not making it in public schools, and you want to be able to see another way that you can get educated. Well, here's one right there. But this is also for the parents. the The main thing that we always do, we want to talk to you all about what your student is going to be learning, about what your daughter, your your son is going to be learning today. And I was thinking we're going to go from second grade all the way to twelfth uh, grade, but might be third grade all the way to twelve. We don't know yet. It just depends on your child and how uh, how he's going to catch on to this system. It's a system that I'm I'm working with. I don't know if it's gonna work. I get the feeling it will work. Uh, I'm gonna I'm, I've got so many ideas that are unorthodox. That means they're not normal. They're different things that you really do not see up in the public schools. And because this is the school that I founded, this is the the school that I'm controlling. This is the school that I I'm administering. Um, I can do whatever I want, and you, the parent, have a choice. Hey, do I go with it or do I not go with it? So if you don't like it, hey, stay in the public school, so find something else. If you see the vision that I have, the idea, well, stick with me, okay? So every time on Tuesdays, I will start with our introduction to you, especially parents, because I don't want to have parent conferences. That takes away a lot of a lot of time. Remember, I spent my time in public schools for 29 years, and there's so many things wrong with education that you know why. You hear it on the news. You know, teachers are dropping like flies because they just can't handle it. And it's a mess. So I'm cutting down on a lot of things, time wasters. Parent conferences are time wasters. And that's because you don't know what's going on in the classroom. Over here, you know exactly what's going on in the classroom. If you don't like your student to be in this school because you don't like the way I'm teaching, the way I'm doing things, by all means, just say goodbye and go somewhere else, okay? My whole objective is just to provide the education of all these things that the state requires us to do for homeschool, okay? And in addition to that, um, give my expertise on technology and help them learn as much as possible, okay? So here's the schedule that I have, parents. <clears throat> <clears throat> Every time we're gonna go ahead and start at 8 to 8.20. This is the introduction, the goal, the mission. Um, then, of course, uh, 9 o'clock, we're going to learn photo editing, but we're also going to be learning reading and researching and good citizenship, okay? We're going to be talking about this. this is what the state of Texas requires you to, to, to make sure that your student has. Uh, 10 o'clock, we're going to learn animation mixed in with a little more reading, research, and science, okay? Uh, at 11 o'clock, we're going to be learning how to produce music, and we're going to make music, we're going to make songs, we're going to go ahead and read, and we're going to do make sure that we got the right spelling on it, okay? Um, 12 to 12.15, we'll learn cognitive skills, which we're going to be using homeschool for that. I mean, homeschool math, okay? Um, making videos, that's going to be homeschool math again, okay? We're going to go ahead and mix it into that. Uh, 2 p.m., we're going to go ahead and talk about filming principles, at which time we're also going to go ahead and be producing a video, and we want to make sure that the reading and the spelling is correct. And all this is a, might change a little bit here and there as I tweak it, because I want to have this ready by 
next school year. Okay, this summer I want to go and be able to advertise it to, you know, the people to make up their decision whether they want to go back to public school or just stick with this program here. Okay, so I want to give them a taste of what it's like during the summer, and if they can handle it, well, then they go back to public schools. Okay, how to upload and create your website. And then, of course, everything that's in yellow is homeschool writing grammar. I might change that one to the beginning because um, I used to have that one for our warm-ups for the person to write. And then at the end, we're going to be uh, awarding the grade uh, homeschool good citizenship. Okay, we're going to go ahead and show you how you're going to get grades in this school. All right, so that's that's this is the schedule that we follow today all day. All right, so we're going to go from 8 o'clock all the way to, what did I change it to? I believe I changed it to 3 o'clock. Okay, 3 o'clock, we're going to be real busy, and then we finish it up. All right, that's one thing. The next thing that we have is, this is what the School of Texas wants you to make sure that you have. They want to make sure that you have math, that you have reading, spelling, English, science, history, uh, we are going to have history. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there, okay? I used to love history, so we are going to put it in there. Good citizenship, and then, of course, an elective. It's already wrapped up on all of them because this, I wrapped it up with all this. So as you are learning all that, you're learning a little bit of the technology that is going on, okay? So that's the other thing I want to show your parents, this is going to be like the grade. You are going to grade yourself, okay? You are going to grade yourself. One of the more, most important things of this school is going to be to teach you integrity. That means to be honest. That means to, 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 to say that when you have accomplished something, you deserve something, okay? If you don't accomplish it, you don't get those points. So I want to do it like, for example, right here. 25%, you're going to have your subject. You're going to have your... 25% uh, is going to be today. Today, you're going to get your 25%. See if you can accomplish what I tell you to accomplish. If you're able to get it, that's great. Uh, if you're absent, you still got to do this, okay? So you can get those 25%. Then the rest of it, you're going to be doing on your own, on your own. And then I'm at another column that says on my own. And then you finally get your 25%. And that would give you 100% for the week, okay? So that's the way you're going to be graded. But from here, whatever I teach you here, you're going to go ahead and um, do the same thing, but with a different content, okay? You're going to do the same thing, but doing something differently. And that's where your brain comes in. You have to decide what different are you. Gonna, what difference will your assignment be, be, be uh, between this one and this one, okay? So um, this is what we want to try out. We don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to see if it's if it's going to give us success. Then, of course, we're going to come up here. We're going to come back to this, and this is our mission statement. Um, I have a lot of uh, uh, a lot of websites, homeschools that I want to go ahead and touch before we leave, and then we want to go ahead and uh, do a little writing today. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the mission statement here. Okay, so the mission statement is to equip you, the learner, with the skills that will help you to entertain or to start uh, a business uh, through the learning of various web-based arts, apps, and using cognitive skills. Cognitive skills are the skills that allow you to think, to reason, to remember, to imagine, learning words, and you're using language, okay? The reason that I want to put cognitive skills here is because I do go fast and you may get lost. So if you get lost, you can do a variety of things, okay? And parents, sit next to your student and make sure that, 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 that he knows at what point he needs to use the cognitive skills. So here's where you use the cognitive skills. First of all, I'm going to give direction. I'm going to tell you, okay, do this, do that, do this. And sometimes I just leave you behind or sometimes your computer's going to mess up and and you don't know what to do so you're trying to catch up but your computer's frozen need not to be uh need, need not to freak out okay don't get uh don't get upset um 
things like that will happen, okay? So when that happens, that's when your cognitive skill can. If your computer freezes up, all you do is just sit back and just watch what I'm saying and just sit there and, and just learn as much as you can. And then your computer after a while is going to unfreeze itself and then you're back to business. That would be one reason why you would want to use the cognitive skills. Another reason is because I forget that, 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 that I'm going too fast. And guess what you do? Then you can go in a, and, and, and if I tell you, okay, go to this website. And I do it so fast that you don't know where I went. You got to go and start thinking, okay, what did he do? Uh, I think he did this, he did that. So that's where you use your cognitive skills. If you completely get lost because I'm just saying, go, going too fast, because that was one of my biggest uh, 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 blaming me for going too fast and the students don't learn it. Don't learn because I go too fast. Well, guess what? You can always go back and watch the video, but you pay attention to the lecture. That's what you need to do. And a lot of the times that uh, blame was not, um, uh, did not have an excuse because I know that the students were either talking or were either on their phones or were not paying attention. Okay. Here you are by yourself. And you need to go and be on top of things, okay? Parents, once again, I'm talking to you. Please take the phone away from your students on Tuesdays. Don't let them use it. As a matter of fact, we're going to be talking a lot about phones because they are killing our society, okay? Including us adults. It's addictive. We're addicted to Instagram. We're addicted to TikTok. We're addicted to Facebook. We're addicted to YouTube and all those things. And then we're messing up our physical lives. And then we're messing up our thoughts. And we're wasting our time. So at least on Tuesday, start off with that. Take it away. And little by little, start taking it away. And start taking it away. Okay? And have your student go outside enjoy the uh, the nature write about that uh, draw the nature i mean it, it, we really this school is is going to try to take you out of there okay try to take you out of the mentality that we are like getting really messed up all right so the vision of the school is to work as a team produce movie music and other parts projects throughout the use of uh, cognitive of uh, collaboration as a super talented team. Now, being the homeschool, a lot of people think, okay, man, you're gonna be a hermit. You're gonna be a a, a lonely person. You're gonna go and have no social skills. In a way, that is correct. Okay, we do not want to go there. So eventually, I want if this school we want to have a, a another class where we're all gonna have all the screens. And we're going to have that often because we need to work on our social skills, okay? We want to talk about life. We want to go and discuss. We want to argue. We want to go and, uh, and use our brains to be able to communicate with each other because um, we need to. That is a must. We're losing that. We're not able to communicate. People, even at, in the public schools, they, they're becoming isolated, uh, solitude. Okay, and and that's the that's the one thing that is really destroying not only me and you, but it's destroying our society. So when I say here super team, I actually do want to get together, and with however many students we have, we want to be able to enjoy each other socially. We want to be able to communicate. We want to be able to talk about life. We want to be able to create projects together. We want to be able to do that. Okay. So that's those are the uh, the visions of this, okay? Uh, parents, this is these are the visions. Uh, this is what we want to do. Uh, may that be we I get a place, a park, and I give everybody the address and boom on that on that on that on that day, on that Tuesday, we all meet there and we physically give the class, okay? Uh, or it can be another day just so that we can work on our communication skills. Whatever the case is, uh, that's going to be an important part of this school, school, okay? So basically what I'll do is just basically give the instructions on Tuesday, tell you what to do, give you the homework, and then you carry on. 
Now, for the people that are really going to need assistance, we're going to have a different Zoom link or maybe the same one. And you all, we can all work together and go slower on the projects. Okay. But I know that this is the biggest one of the problems that we had in school. We have the, our slow learners and we have our fast learners. And a lot of times we spend a lot of times with the slow learners and the fast learners are just not taken care of. So I want to start with the fast learners and then the fast learners catch on quick and then the slow learners have a hard time and then we're trying to catch them over here by me, spend a lot of time with them. Okay, so that's what we want to do. <clears throat> and remember, parents, we are, I got a, a population of second, third grade, all the way to 12. Okay, so from second to 12, they're all going to be up there, okay? When you get into Zoom, you don't have to go and put your camera on. Don't put your camera on. We everybody just logs in and you have your cam. You don't have to have your 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 I'm assume that you're there. I just want to know your name and 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 then we go from there. Okay. And parents, I strongly recommend that you sit down with them throughout the session. And if you like the uh what they're gonna learn, great. If they're not gonna like it, just go back to public school, okay? And uh, and 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 be out there, okay? All right. So now we go over to this one. No, let's see. Now we do the pledge of allegiance. Okay, that's good citizenship. Okay. So we're at this point right here. We're gonna do the pledge of allegiance and the Texas flag. And remember, this might be not only for the people in Texas. It might be for other people around the country. So if they're around the country. They want. They may or may not have a the Pledge of Allegiance. Parents, I am religious, and this is, uh, uh, I'm not going to get, uh, I am religious. I do, we we do have prayer in this school. We have not taken it out. And we are going to pray. We're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance and to respect the free will of humanity that God gave us. You can either join us in prayer or just Take your moment of silence. As a matter of fact, we are going to give you your moment of silence, okay? That gives us an extended time for us to do another prayer. So we that are religious um, will have two prayers, one out loud and then the other one um, for a moment of silence, silence for you, for you all to, to, to have your moment of silence, whatever religion that you're from, okay? Okay, so at this time, we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance, and then we have the prayer. Uh, we're going to have the pre Pledge of Allegiance, Texas flag, moment of silence, and then we'll do, finally, the, the prayer of uh, uh, from us, from the school, okay? So at this time, put your hands right here. This is good citizenship, okay? This falls into that one. We're going to show you. And let me tell you something. When we do this, I want you to go ahead and really appreciate the country that you're in. There's some we have open borders right now, okay, and that's going to affect us very bad in the future. But why are so many people coming to this country? Because they know that we are doing the best that we can. It's a good country, even though we have a lot of problems right now, and we don't know what's going to happen. So when you say the Pledge of Allegiance, appreciate it that it's something special that we live here, okay? We didn't have to travel so far to get here. We already here. We were born here, okay? And that's something to be appreciated. When I was in school, kids would not get up. Kids would not do the Pledge of Allegiance. And that would hurt me so much because how can they not appreciate this country? So that's the one thing I want to teach you appreciate it, say it like you mean it, okay? Both allegiances, and then we'll have a moment of silence, and then we'll have a prayer. Let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. 
And now for a moment of silence. And now for the prayer. Heavenly Father who art in heaven, thank you for the technology that you've given us, which is free at this time. And thank you because we're able to teach others about education and how they can be successful with what they're going to learn. We ask you that you be with all the students of this school. We ask you that you be with all the students in public schools. We ask you that you keep us away from evil. We ask you that you keep us focused. We ask you that you help the teachers, to help me to remember the things that I have studied and that I can teach it in a way that everybody's going to understand it, Heavenly Father. Thank you so much for this country. Thank you so much for all the wonderful things that we enjoy in this country. Please help the government. Give them wisdom to run it better than what they've been running, their Heavenly Father. You do the justice on whoever is doing it wrong, Heavenly Father. We ask you in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Okay, so before we go, let's see, it's about 23. The one thing that I want to go ahead and uh, tell you that this school is not going to be for everybody, okay? This school, school will be only for the following students. One, self-discipline. Um, um, self-focus. Um, students um, with integrity um self student self discipline means that you know that during the on Tuesdays it's all on you you, you just pay attention i'm always going to be giving examples from the real world which is when i was teaching we wasted so much time in trying to get everybody quiet down to get ready for the lesson over here we're just going to go straight to the lesson and you should be ready to go Okay, be on time. Don't be late. Over here, we're not going to send you to go get a tardy pass. We're not going to go ahead and ask you to sit down. We're not going to ask you to go ahead and be quiet. That's why you're going to be self-disciplined. You're going to be a self-focus. You're going to be a student with integrity. Okay? Uh, you are going to be... Uh, uh, cell starter, cell starter. You're going to be a life learner. Okay. Life learner and actually cell starter. And, and he, here's my point on this. Okay. And the reason that you really need to understand this is because this school is not going to take you by the hand. It's not going to be there next to you. It's not going to be telling you, you know, don't look at your phone. Uh, stay focused. It's not going to do that. You have to do it yourself. If you cannot do these things, you don't be in this school. Okay? It's not for you. Okay? These skills are so important that they're going to help you forever. Okay, the objective of public schools is to instill this in you every day for 12 years. And even once you get to the 12th year, it, get, it seems like it's getting worse. You're not self-disciplined. You don't go into a class ready to learn. You, you take it as a joke. This is not a joke. This is your education. This is your future. You need to go and be um, responsible. That's another one. Uh, be responsible and all this i'm going to teach you okay and as a matter of fact we can go through just to start with this and, and parent pay very close attention parent okay 
you're going to, I hope you don't never come to me and tell me, well, you're st my, my students never learning anything in your class. Well, here's the first thing that it starts. Are they disciplined? Are they staying focused? Are they, uh, are they having integrity? Are they doing the assignments that they be, should be doing? Take, for example, self-discipline. Self Look at this. Spelling, right? Now we can actually, how do you spell discipline the correct way? Well, you can either do it like this. I'm, I'm going to ask you to do it like this before you see the answer, right? Discipline. Okay, now is that the correct way or is not that the correct way? That's how your student becomes self-learner, okay? Now, if this is incorrect, well, they got to find the answer. And Google, the technology that we're using, guess what? It fixes the problem right there, discipline. Okay, so therefore he picks it and he fixes the problem. And if he wrote it correctly, there it is. You taught yourself. That's the way you teach yourself spelling. Okay, uh, self-focus. But if your mom or dad does not take the phone away from you, you give it to your mom and dad, your legal guardian. If you are, you know, in a family living just because they let you go live with them, you put the phone away, turn it off all day on Tuesday. Don't look at it, okay? That's going to make you focus. Uh, and think, here's what I want to do. Think about how bad these phones are killing us, okay? How bad they're messing us up. And, and, and scare yourself mentally and tell yourself, man, this is, this is messing me up. Okay, it's like a drug that's just bring me, me, bring me, bringing me down. Instead of think, thinking about your phone, write about things. Okay, that's the objective of these companies. They want to get your attention. They want you to be with them. Okay, so you need to make sure that you stay focused. Okay, integrity. Okay, a lot of us, a lot of parents, they don't teach integrity. You steal something, it's okay. You take away integrity what is the like here's what is the definition of some words okay let me give you an example you don't know what integrity is i need you to go and get into this habit of typing this define the word integrity okay and then integrity tells us this the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles and moral uprightness okay the state of being uh, so the quality of being honest, that's what I want you to think about. I'm going to go and click on this. I'm going to do command C, and then I'm going to go ahead and come up here and paste it on the document right here below. So that way we can see that we have the definition of integrity. Okay. And there it is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles and moral uprightness. Cell starter, okay? You wake up early, you're ready for class, and you do the lessons, and there's going to be times where, you see, where's this life learner right here? If I give you a simple project, guess what? Don't stop there. You continue to push yourself, challenge yourself to do more than that, all right? I think I have cell server here twice. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. Take that out. Okay. And be responsible. Okay. Be very responsible with what you do. Okay. We're going to quit here and we will see you all. Let's look at our schedule. And this is our school website. Okay. Don't forget that this is our school website. You're going to come up here and you're going to see the schedule. The schedule is wrong. I'm going to go ahead and try to change it. And so, but you know what the schedule is right here. Okay, we will see you all at nine o'clock. Right now it's uh, 8.31. We passed over about 10 minutes because we were supposed to go from May to 8.20. So we're going to be done. We'll see you all at nine, nine o'clock on the dot. Be ready to go. And right now what I want you to do is this. I want you to come over and I want you to draw something, okay? Just so that you're your brain can get used to something, okay? There's a program called Auto Draw. Auto Draw right there. Auto Draw. And just draw whatever you want, okay? Draw whatever you want. 
whatever you want to draw, just draw, okay? And spend your time doing that. And let me double check right here. Reading and researching. We did research right now. We researched the word integrity. We read. We read the things that that you need to to have to be able to work here. And then good citizenship, which is integrity. Okay? We'll see you at 9 o'clock. Have a wonderful day.